Hey guys, today I've got a Whirlpool HE washer with deep water wash options, tons of options here across the whole machine. You've got pre-soak, uh, four different rinse options, all those different things are going to be listed in the description. Make sure you check that out. This video here is the purpose of it is as if you were standing here yourself checking it out, you get to see that everything's working perfect for you. Come pick it up. Uh, and right now I've got it filled up some jeans, um, jackets, towels, that kind of thing. And I've taken the two little screws off here and stuck the lid lock mechanism here. That way we can open it up. Otherwise, this would be locked just about as soon as it starts to agitate, it'll lock and you wouldn't be able to open this up here. But right now it's getting started filling up. You can see there. So I'm gonna show you that it agitates like it's supposed to as it moves through its cycle, drains the water out, comes back into the rinse cycle, and then has a nice fast final spin on it. Then when we're all done, we'll move the clothes over to the dryer. So we'll let it go ahead and fill up and we'll come back. Okay, and it stopped a few times during the sensing and agitating to add more water. Now we're just about full submersion on that load there. So a real good job agitating. Getting those clothes nice and clean and it sounds great. Okay, we're moving out of the wash cycle if you can hear it. Draining that water out nice and fast. Yep, excellent job. Nice fast drain there. And next it'll do kind of a spin, fill back up with fresh water, rinse. And when it drains that time, then we'll be on to the final spin cycle, which is what I'll come back for next. So now it's going on its first rinse spin. Lid lock popped on since it is in the spin cycle mode. But like I said, of course we can move it up and take a look. See it's spinning super fast. Super quiet, nice and balanced. And it's cycling that drain on and off to keep extracting that Alright, and here we are on the final spin. It's up to speed. You can see it's nice smooth operation. Sounds great. I'll open this up and show you. It's spinning nice and fast. Which is great that it spins this fast because it extracts about the most amount of water out of these clothes as possible, which is gonna cut your drying time just about in half. And it'll go through this three times on the final spin where it'll stop, kick the drain on, spin again, does that three times, at least on normal it does. All right, I'll let that finish up. Go ahead and move these clothes over to the dryer and show you that the dryer's working perfectly. Okay, and here we have the matching electric dryer. Let it run here for about just a minute. On time dry, high heat, you got tons of options here. Air fluff for super delicates, automatic. Uh, you can even set your temperature for the delicate items. You can do a lint trap here. And uh, I'm gonna open it up real quick, show you that it's tumbling fine. And with a heat gun here, <clears throat> right in between those two red dots, it's gonna take a service temperature measurement. So it's about 82 degrees on the top of this dryer. It's about 66 degrees on the ground, so it's a surface temperature measurement. Go ahead open this up. Shoot right inside the heating element tube. You can see plenty of heat coming out of that tube right there. That in turn is gonna heat the inside of your dryer anywhere from about 95 up to 195 degrees as it warms up and gets going. Just kinda depends on what you have the heat setting at. But I'll let that go ahead and finish up. Go ahead and get these listed up for sale. And now you know everything on it works perfect. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out. I do appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Thanks, you guys have a great day.